Welcome to a series of eight tours of Yokohama, Japan. These tours were all presented live in the same day on a platform called Heigo. I didn't make any money on this trip and I absolutely wore the wrong shoes. But I did brighten the days of many and shared my love of Japan and the sea. I hope that you in turn get something from these videos. A huge thank you to my sponsors at heigo.com forward slash Miss Kendall James. Hi, nice to see you. Who can I see? Charity, Sinead, Kath, Kim, Sarah, Rebecca, Chelsea, Lisa, Sotke, Cheryl, Jody, Tim, Sheila, Franz, Beverly, Emily and Carol. Hello everyone. Cheryl, Tina, Sarah, Lise, Kathy, Karina, Linda. Hello. Hi Katie. Hi Poppy. Ken, Danette, Carol, Dragon Bluff Heather, Wendy, Anne. Hello, hello. Ken the Trooper. So proud. Hello, Mindy, Deborah, Evie, Barry. Hello. Nice to see you guys. Welcome. We've got climbing to do. I hope you're going to join me on this climb. I'm going to enjoy this lovely park area. It's my first time here. We're coming to this uh, central, central to the city of Yokohama. Um, zoo, zoological garden. I think it's um, kind of a zoo and small, like it's very compact, compact as well. But welcome, my name is Kendall James and I'm very happy to have you here today. Uh, we've got lots of information here in Japanese, but I don't think you want that. We'll, um, we'll get our information from the, from the tourism website. Actually, there's a special website for this, this area. I think I can also walk up to the top of it. You're wondering what my mask today was going to be. Look, are we going to see wallabies? That's going to be cool, isn't it? This is going to be called uh, Nogeyama Zoological Gardens. And you might notice the theme here. Something, something yama means on a hill. So up I go. There's red pandas, the mountain goats, of course. Uh, so we're going to the Nogeyama Zoological Garden which despite being a short walk away from Sagu, uh, Sagurachio Station offers a relaxing contrast to Minato Mirai's ever-bustling and futuristic landscape. So we're going to experience nature and whatnot. So shall we? Shall we climb? I think we should. And then after I'll continue and march to my, uh, my next location because it's a big old day, isn't it? Big old day. Red Panda! Hi Terry, hi Anna, hi Shell, nice to see you guys. We've got lovely little details up here. Where am I? Whoop, there we go. And I think it's best if I go right up. Let me get my bearings a second. Yeah, I'm going to follow it right up here. Let's go up through through the gardens fast and to the to the zoo they don't want you to pet them no it's true we're not meant to be petting them we've got little blossoms everywhere which is lovely little and big ones um france says they have no sound so someone will have to advise them in a text-based format to um to refresh because the sound is coming in loud and clear as far as i can see anyway but soon they won't want to hear it loud and clear because it'll be my breathing which won't be as good hi mark nice to see you so we have the much calmer tours ahead of my things like chinatown and the port area let me move my microphone away from my face so you don't have to hear my panting. You can just hear me shouting at you instead. A raven. Yes, there's a raven. <laughs> People love feeding the pigeons out here. The pigeons are having a field day. What a cute doggy. It's got cat ears. 
Hi Camilla, nice to see you. Hi Ellen and Patricia, nice to see you guys too. Yeah, follow along Kendall Day. So I guess there's quite a lot of uh, kind of small hills, small mountains um, around Yokohama. It's my first time here myself, one of the largest port cities in Japan. And maybe the most important one. Uh, this isn't the zoo part of the zoo. So, yeah, I guess dogs are allowed in this part. This is kind of the park. Penguin, I think that's a good sign. Follow the penguin sign. Penguin in Japanese. Penguin in Japanese is penguin. Ah, uh, penguin. Penguin. <laughs> Penguin. I, I once babysat a little girl who said penguin. That's that was a whole different thing. So I think it kind of builds it as being um, a proper zoo. But I wonder. I wonder. I'm thinking it might be. Well, it's got red pandas, so that's that's proper zoo standard. I think. But um, I lived in Portsmouth in the UK for 12 years, and there was a kind of, not, not petting zoo, but just um, an amazing, like, caged awning in the middle of this park called Victoria Park. And you could see guinea pigs and peacocks and birds of paradise and turtles, and I loved it. So I think it's a proper mini zoo. Up on the, up on the hillside, the only zoo that's in the city with this in the bustling part of the city of Yokohama. And I believe it's free. The website says as much. I'll just get myself to it. And I've got, the official website's got loads of lovely information. I think from about 1951 it was created. And of course, there's elements of Japanese garden even up here. Kind of very tiny little stream happening just here. I'm sure that overflows quite a lot with a lot of bad weather. And it leads all the way down here. I bet that looks amazing in autumn. We're just at the tail end of winter. Someone said the first day of spring earlier. And so we can see blossoms, but everyone's first day of spring is quite different. In Japan, different towns will claim it's the first day of spring. For example, I just uh, did some uh, fire festival tours uh, maybe a week ago in Shiga. A week and a half ago? Wow, so much time already passed. But those were to say goodbye to winter and hello to spring. Oh, I can see lots of lovely pink blossoms in the background. But I want to give you a, a feel. I love, I love providing context to a tour. So I can easily, you know, start at the gate of the, of the location and just take you inside. But I think it's much more interesting to see what's in the area. Hi, Ruth and Joe and Patrick and Christine. I'm sure other people like a concise version of a tour, but we follow different guides based on their styles, I think. And I'm a context hunter. Oh, there's some really interesting birds up there. And more squirrels. I've never seen so many squirrels in Japan. I couldn't get you a zoom in of that one, but there's a squirrel running through the branches. Lovely. Okay, over this way. I've got a second phone with an extra map on it. We're in a port city, so I can hear fog horns in the background, which is so nostalgic for me. Hi, squirrels. Hi, Katie. That looks like our entrance over there.
I can hear lots of random animals, so <laughs> I think so. I think it's going to be um, bigger than I expected for sure. Hi Mary Lou, nice to see you. A little giraffe over this way. I wonder if there are such grand things. There's some poop on the floor, but I think it's um, on the ground, but I think the poop is from a dog. I'm not going to get you a postcard of that. But that's interesting, so I don't normally see animal poop around, around Japan. Usually people pick it up, so I'm surprised. Passing time. It smells really nice out here. It smells really fresh. Japan got robbed. Oh no! The World Baseball Championship. Oh no! I really wanted to see Japan and America in that together. That would have been really cool. I hope we're going to see a tanuki inside as, a, as an aside just there. And an owl riding a zebra, that would be cool. Okay, sneak over the road. Thanks for the for the update. I requested updates. Okay, so actually the park the park has just opened the um the zoo. It opens at 9.30 and it's 9.40 now. So no one's missed out on anything in particular. Game's still going, just a tremendous play against them. Oh, thank you. I thought it would be strange for it to suddenly be over like that. Hi, Sharon. Look at these lovely flowers. They're just calling spring, 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 spring. Some children have just arrived for the zoo. It's actually a public holiday here in Japan. I haven't taken note of what, what type of public holiday it is. Many blossoms just flew on my head because of a little bird that's in there. There are some really interesting little birds around here. So we're going to see um, cherry blossoms and things throughout the park right now. This is a pink, pink variety. Still haven't got the name of it. Something Zakura. So pretty. I guess all of my tours these next days, you're going to see cherry blossoms on. So lap them up. I hope you like them. It'd be strange if one didn't, I think, because they're just so lovely. Right. What I'm going to do is just put my mic back on my, on my chest. I had it. No, you cannot bite it. I mean, it does look very biteable. I know, I know what you mean. I'm just going to use my, the mic to tie my scarf together. Many people aren't wearing their masks, so <clears throat> I feel a little bit more like I could not wear mine comfortably. But since um, Monday last week, people have stopped wearing masks generally, but they still do. Most, most still do. So here, we just for your context, we just walked through this little bit of the park here. And then we have this bit at the zoo, and it's called Zoological Gardens. So there's also a lovely garden area. And I think blossoms over here. Yeah, that's Sakura. So let's have a look. Hi, Annette. Hi, Debbie. Sharon, Kathy. Nice to see you guys. This way for lions. Let's go. So I've never done a zoo tour before. I'm excited. A little bit nervous. I hope people don't get angry. If you've got angry comments, then, I don't know, send them to Hago because there are boys doing, there are boys doing these tours. So I want to do one too. What can I say? I think I'm crossing at a naughty point. <laughs> okay. Everyone's wearing their masks like an accessory now, just underneath their chins. This is the moment of truth where we find out if it really is free or not. I think it is. It says no doggies inside, okay? I put the gift shop right at the beginning. Admission is free.
。あ、すいません。お、英語のありがとうございます。OK。I just found a stamp. スタンプ。<笑> so, one second, guys. I just found a stamp to get. お、おー、わかりました。これと私のスケッチブック。<笑>いろんなスタンプ。<笑>シーガーに住んでいます。あ、そうなんですね。OK, guys. からあ、イギリス人です。でも3年半くらい日本に住んでいます。いえいえ、<笑>勉強中です。わお、<笑>すごい。かわいい、ありがとうございます。Lovely。That's a good one, isn't it? I have to let it dry for a second. We love a stamp, don't we? I'm surprised Maple isn't here. Can anyone poke her? Does she love animals too? We give Maple Chan a poke on Instagram, anybody? I've got,、um, I was going to read from my phone, but it looks like they've given me this. Sponsored by Coca Cola. Coca Cola supports it. Okay. Lovely. Oh, look. Gosh, we're going to see loads of different thingies lemurs and anteaters. Guinea pigs, that's what I'm here for, the guinea pigs. Penguins. Okay, lovely. Right, bear with me just a second, everybody. Get my rucksack back on again, if you'll bear with me. I wonder if there are more stamps inside. Ta da! It's too cute, right? You gotta collect those. Hi, Alan and Shirley and Eva, nice to see you. Maple's on、um, Facebook. Ken, if you want to drop her line. English map. So they said on the map there was a little point that you can put a stamp on a big map. But I already have my sketchbook. This says rally. Usually there's a stamp collection point. So, usually photograph collection points or something. So, I guess on the way out, I'll grab some of those English maps so I can send a couple to sponsors. But I can't get all of the different flyers for everybody, sadly. But lots of my sponsors will get lots of different things here and there. Look at this little yellow cutie. <gasps> What a darling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double die. That little yellow giraffe. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, we can end the tour now. How many tips do I need for that? <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so cute. It's the perfect shade of lemoniest yellowness. What a cutie. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and check out this. Free zoological garden. How cool is that? That this whole area is free. I think that's brilliant. Hi, intercultures. <laughs> Silky says, My daughter wouldn't want to leave until we got one. Carol says, Yay. Oh, look at this. This is quite nice. So, this is Nogayama Zoological Gardens, and they've put a little sign so you can see what day it is. So, if you have a little selfie next to it, you can see the exact date that it is the year, the month, and the day. Lovely. The roles of a modern zoo recreation, research, education, and conservation. So, remember, remember. Research, conservation, education. A lot of good things going on here. And so great to see that it only opened less than 20 minutes ago today.、Um, even on a public holiday. Oh, look at these cute little turtles. Box tortoises, I think. 
Uh, but there are so many children here already. How good. Now what I'll have to do is try and avoid capturing the children in my in my live stream because we don't want that. <gasps> Look at this amazing playground. Yeah, but London's got loads of free museums, so different kind of one. <gasps> amazing. Look at this. You're right next to the red pandas with no fence. Coming around this way. Guys, get ready, postcards. Oh my goodness. How lovely is that? Look at this, no fence between us and the lovely red pandas. I'm so surprised. Just having a roam around. Yeah, the best has been seen. What a cutie. Oh my goodness, the face is just so cute. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Whoa, I can't capture it. <laughs> Mr. Panda, someone just said. So cute. Hi, Tina. You're a little bit late for the best picture that we got just now of the red panda, but I'll wait one or two more minutes to see if we can get another one. Okay, I think it's going to do another lap. So cute. So clean and fluffy looking. Yeah, the ones in the UK are sleepy as anything too. This guy's a real adventurer. <laughs> Hello. Look at that little face. <laughs> oh my goodness, coming in. <laughs> wow. I don't know why they're not called red raccoons though. They do look raccoony. He's a right pacer. He's got some things to do. Business. It's business time. I think it's really cool that there's only like a meter and a half distance between them. Oh, money shot acquired. How lovely. Well, that's a winner. Sold. So normally they put all the good stuff right at the end, right? You've got a promenade throughout the whole place. That's awesome. All right, we've got a lot to see. So I say bye bye, Mr. Panda. What an energetic little bean. I've never seen such a sleepless. Well, normally they're sleepy, aren't they? Oh, I think this is so you can hear the animal sounds. It's a panda. Oh, it's information about the panda. So at the beginning, I noticed there's a donation box. And also, this is a little, for 100 yen, you can listen to information about the panda. So even though it's free to come and see them, and they've got some information written around, you can pay extra to, to hear a little bit more. Pretty great. These look like extraordinary large hamster cages <laughs> with maybe chimpanzees inside. So don't worry if I walk past something. I'm going to do my best based on um, how many people I think are in front of it because I don't want... I don't want kids caught in my kids' faces and things in my live stream. There's a little baby attached to the mummy getting tomatoes and peppers. Very cute. What were the kids saying? Oh, I'm afraid I wasn't focused on them. One was saying Mr. Panda, which was so cute. But I'm afraid I wasn't listening, Linda. Um, I used to work in a supermarket for... 15 years, 13, 13 years I worked in a supermarket and people would always say to me, how can you handle the beep, beep, beep of the checkout and the of the kids? And I'm afraid I just didn't listen to them. I'll, uh, I'll try and pay a bit more attention. It is a fab zoo, free. Yeah, definitely blocked it out. And it's free to be here. Let's have a little look at our map. Here is the penguin. Penguin. So they've given us a map. They've given us one in English, which is very lovely. We're pretty close to Tokyo, but we're in Yokohama. So, excuse me. It's a little different. A little different. Let's have a look. It looks very peaceful in the distance. So everyone that's going to be here today has just arrived. 
This is uh, Nogayama Zoological Gardens of Yokohama. It was opened on April 1st in 1951. Excuse me. The zoo is home is home of <laughs> is a home of popular zoo animals like giraffes and lions and also reptiles and birds. Visitors can observe the body features and behavior of animals by watching them from a close distance. The size of the zoo is moderate for a walk. It allows people of all ages to walk around and see the animals easily. We hope you have a good time at Nogayama Zoo. Oh my goodness. So we had the red panda in the middle. Can I read this map? What do you want to see next? Giraffes, tanukis, lions, tigers, zebras. That looks pretty cool over there, doesn't it? Okay. Hi, Ginny. Tanuki. Yeah, tanuki. You should don't like people too much. Let me try and get my bearings. Owls. Okay. I think, okay, if... Red pandas are there. I think over this way is the giraffe area. One second. I've traveled 400 kilometers to be in Yokohama, so I've not been here before. Great, see what I said. I just saw. Right. Red panda in the middle. Feeding time at 1.30, so you can see the red pandas be fed. So sweet. He's just going to come back this way, you guys can see. Again. Just travel the way of the path so it's easier. Lauren, yeah, good point, and I would have, but there is paths in every direction, lovely. I want to go to around this one. So let me see, entrance, straight from the entrance. I can only see one so far. Okay, so entrance, I'm straight down here. So I'm going down this path and it should lead to tanukis and lions. But yes, just travel the way of the path was, um, I understand helpful was meant, but there are many, many paths. And I can't see one that says, where the lions are. This is an old streetcar here, and inside they've got information on different animals. Maybe ones you can adopt, actually, by the looks of it. Hi, Joyce. Tina, was your question how many are in the um, red panda zone? I don't know, I'm afraid. We just saw the one. Normally they're kept in at least twos. Okay, I see tall enclosures, so I guess we're coming up to giraffes and a reptile area. That was red pandas that we saw just now. They're not pandas, exactly. They're kind of like little fox raccoons. Attention, P. One moment. Oh, the lion is sleeping with a really sweet face. The red pandas is what you just saw, Tina. That's true. Dragon Fluff Heather says you can't go wrong with following an excited person. So the enclosure goes all the way inside the warehouse, which is pretty impressive. It says no flash photography here, but the video is okay. This is the first Yokohama tour day. Oh, second. The second Yokohama tour, but also I th uh, Eriko has come here to show off the Rose Garden a couple of times. But I'm pretty sure people are going to share red panda pictures later. I don't see any more lions. But, oh my goodness, Tanuki's over here. Very exciting. They're moving around as well. Normally they're asleep. Japanese raccoon dog. This is a very rare sighting, guys. Just bear with me. Hi, mommy. Bear with me while I get your shot. Yeah, they're called tanukis here. Japanese raccoon god dog to us. Just shut the door. That's funny. 
So he locked himself out. It looks like a sitcom now. <laughs> I saw the door open just now, so it's literally just shut it by accident behind itself, which is a little bit silly. Yes, of course you can love him. <laughs> Give up time. <laughs> he just went for a running, a run up. Yeah, I saw it open just now. I think someone has to open it from the inside for him. I know, mate. We can't help. Poor guy. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Wilma. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guy. We cannot open it. Mummy, this is a Japanese raccoon dog, but he's just locked himself out of his house. Even though he's got a massive play area. He was going for a run up. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that improves later. Yeah, he's gone. Look, he goes for a run up. Watch this one. Just pacing it now. Oh, shame. <laughs> I'm going to come back later and see. I think this is a Deco Panda. It's a different type of panda. Japanese badger. Oh, it says Deco Panda. A uh, decorative panda. Yeah, I'm not letting you in again. Oh, bless him. Yeah, help for sure. We'll come back and see if that one is woken up in a little while. They're pretty big enclosures. I'm pleased and also the half of the enclosure is inside away from us so we can't see it which I think is also really great for the for the animals so don't forget we're talking about research conservation education lots of good things happening yeah the help noise and art should tell a zoo official but the thing is the tanuki does have a huge space to play in it's just decided it wants it wants that particular one. Okay, reptile house. You guys vote reptiles or primates and ducks. So reptiles up there, primates and ducks over this way. Okay, and also I'm hoping oh that looks like a lemur as well. But my favorite my favorite animal that isn't an alpaca is a pygmy marmoset, so I would just be so happy if I could find pygmy marmosets. <laughs> Warm bloods, please. Feeding time at 3.30. Little parrots. Red tiles. No, but my next, so Virginia said, I thought you were saying red tiles, not reptiles. But my next tour is of red bricks. So, you know, my next tour is a highly recommended location, actually. All of my students, when I said, where should I visit in Yokohama? They said, you should go to the red brick warehouses. So um, do come and see that with me now uh, after this tour, uh, which will take a little bit of getting to, but I'm going to do it. Oh, Look at these lemurs. Yeah, they're orange. I'm going to try and get a bit closer for you. Oh, they each have their own house. Is this um, tarsiers? Is that how you say it? Well, they're kind of like a little asleep, but they all have a little house. Can you see inside? It looks like a giant bird box. <laughs> and one of them is up having a cleaning session. These are lemurs. Okay. What's the thing you guys are saying? Tars here. These are lemurs, but orange ones. Normally I see black and white ones. Wow. Is that an ostrich? It looks, oh yes, there's a big old ostrich nearby. Let me see what I can do. 
I'm not, I'll go back up in a moment. There are some kids and things in front of that other one. <laughs> I think the ostriches are known for being a bit pecky, so there's a lot of um, stuff in front of the ostriches. Ah, tasiers then are the ones that look like those little toys that have big, big eyes. Su Suli. Yoohoo and Suli. Wow, over here. Look at this. One second. Blonde one. Look like little gremlins, but are cute. Not Furby, no, I wasn't talking about Furby. Furby's not based on a real creature. This is, says it's a southern tamandua. Minami, Minami koariki. It looks like it just isn't fancy, fancy doing the day today. Just sitting on his tail. Furbies are based on fear, sure. Um, Southern Tamandua. I'll get you a picture of the name in a minute. I'll go and check to see Ostrich or Emu in a minute. Sleepy. <laughs> Virginia says maybe it's the replica one for when the real one needs a bathroom break. Oh, look. One second. I'll show you a little sign. Right. This is the sign. Southern Tamandua. But just here, there's a picture of it when it's looking upright. It's got a cute little piggy bat nose. Very cute. This one is only three years old. Wait, basically two years old. Very little. I don't think I've ever seen this creature before. Hi, Karen. Hi, Wendy. Oh, look. At its playing poses. Well, I don't know. Try your jokes, Virginia. You can see. But I'm not... Um... <laughs> I, I, I can't. <laughs> you try your joke. Perhaps it's okay. Maybe emu, because it's not really big enough to be an ostrich, is it? A little bit secret. I'm trying to look for it. Map number 12. Ostrich. It is an ostrich, which in Japanese is dacho. Dacho. You saw a, a giraffe in London Zoo called Virginia. That's wonderful. Wow, flamingos. The feeding time is different for all of them, Tina. So some of them I've read out already. It's like 1.30 and 2. But I'm not sure. I'll check in a sec because I walked past it again. I'll go up to the primates in a moment. Oh, yeah, it does say Chilean and American flamingos. <laughs> the sound of them cleaning is quite nice. Oh, they're your favorite. Let me see if I can get closer. More Alice in Wonderland feeling to play croquet. The first time I saw flamingos might have been in America. So in the UK, when we're kids, we have... Um, at school, we have pink custard, but people told me that the pink custard is, custard is made from flamingo blood, which is just horrible. And nothing to do with the truth at all. For it doesn't say feeding time for these ones, sorry. Gonna go up here to the, to the zebra, zebra, depending on where you're from, and then I'll go back around to the primates. <laughs> Oh, Mark says it's cute when the males dance for the females for a mate. I think zebras look so elegant. Oh, 
with me a minute. Looks like it's on a diet. Maybe, it looks quite strong to me. And it's got some wobble about its flesh, so I think it looks quite strong. Food bin's empty. Yeah, well, it's morning, everybody. I don't know what time it is where you are, but it's only 10.10 10 10 here. One second. Use my nose to show you that. Now I've got no smudge on it. It's only 10.10. 10. It, it also doesn't look like a very tall zebra, so... Let me see. I'll see what type it is for you guys. <laughs> yeah, they do look like slender types, guys. They do look different. One second. Got the exact name. It's called a Grevy's zebra. Grevy's zebra. I think he's lean as well, Lethargy. He looked muscular to me. <laughs> I actually never had that. <laughs> I've never seen her. Oh, there's a lot of food coming. I guess it is breakfast time. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tina's got it. Feeding time. I've never seen a zebra. Sorry, zebra, zebra, gallop. That was something for sure. Education, conservation. <laughs> The baby is very cute. Yeah, I used to have a pet terrapin and he would splash, splash, splash like crazy when it was feeding time. Or just from seeing us, just in case it was feeding time. His markings really are stunning. The baby in the distance looks really lovely. But I don't know if I can get you a view of that one. Hi, dot, dot, dot. Nice to see you. So they're just around the corner getting some food. Let me see what I can do. I don't think I can get you a look in here. It's too dark. Usually the animals have, oh, there's a giraffe. Dark and light spaces they can hang out in. The giraffe is 4.8 meters tall. A bit hard with the reflection though. So I guess they swap who gets to hang out in the eating space. I've been well, thank you. I'm on, on tour two of a, of a busy day of tours ahead. I'm going to walk up this way, go round to the primates. Yeah, I wonder that too, Tina. I haven't seen names so far. Tina said, I wonder if they've named the animals. Um, normally I see names in all kinds of Japanese parks, so I'll see. Especially seeing as they usually do it for children, if nothing else. So let me see. How are you? I mean, I missed your presence. Oh, Tanuki's back. Oh, this one's a bit scruffier. Forlorn. <laughs> I think it's a girl. It's got a much thicker coat. These are Japanese raccoon dogs. And they're normally nocturnal, I think. Let you see if that other one was allowed to get back into its house. No, he's still trapped outside. <laughs> So these are special, native to Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lisa says it's like when the mum kicks the kid out for fresh air. This one does look much younger. Is he just pleading? Pleading to everyone else to help, help open the door for him now. <laughs> yeah, the little like nod of the head downwards. Can you open the door? Yeah, still locked out. But yeah, it might be a bit like what Lisa said. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe he's meant to not sleep all day and play outside. 
They look like little fox dogs, don't they? Hi, Tony. Anne says, don't you hate it when you forget your keys and no one's home? Hi, Ellen. Nice to see you. So fluffy. My friend actually had the pleasure of seeing baby tanukis in the wild, which is so cool. So cool. I wanted to see this guy. Okay, I think they do have names. This one over here might actually be called Ken. One second. The kids are saying, Ken, 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 which means little Ken. It said a deco panda. I'm going to check it again in a second, the other one. We've got some good shots of Tanuki here, though. <laughs> He's just waiting next to the other one. Oh, I'm glad you got a first, and I'm glad you got such a Japanese first as well. Looks like there's um, ferrets in here. So there's, this is a Japanese marten in this one, but over here is a Japanese badger, which it also said is called a deco panda, which might be what they called it, which means decorative panda, but it's sleeping. I'm going to see if I can find the monkeys. Hi, Sue. Saru, monkey. So I can teach you some names of animals in Japanese as well. Some of them are very easy, like Tora. Tora is, um, Tora is tiger. Lion is <laughs> lion. So some of them are just very easy. Tanuki is a raccoon dog to us, yeah. <clears throat> Japanese people call it a tanuki. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, look at all the camellia up here. So beautiful. What was that good looking animal, that statue you once showed us standing outside a store one time and I asked you what the name of it was called? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think I showed you a tanuki statue. The lemurs look very luxurious in here. Oh, but it's a little hard to get a picture of them. But we can we can watch them anyway. Sometimes Hago tours are definitely about the experience rather than grabbing the grabbing the photographs. But there's some lovely, lovely creatures over here. An eastern black and white colobus. Colobus. Tanuki is a raccoon dog, yeah, but I don't know if I've shown you a statue of one. Wow. This is definitely painting me like a French lady. It's got vibes, for sure. <laughs> I got the French lady vibes. I've got watercolors in my bag. I mean, you know, look at the hairdo. Smart. What an interesting creature. <laughs> yeah, a little like a Russian hat for sure. A similar French hat, Russian hat, and a big old sailor beard. <laughs> oh, that looks very soft and warm. Yeah, definitely going for an Oscar. Oh my goodness. Can you see their tails? Look how long their tails are. There's the paintbrush. My goodness. That, I wasn't suggesting we make paintbrushes from them, by the way. I'm suggesting it looks like a paintbrush before anyone's like, she's cutting the hair of the animals. It's fluffy as anything. Oh, amazing. I'd never seen such a creature. Hi, Adrian. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So we've just got 10 more minutes left together of this little tour, guys. I, I'm filling in lots of things today, so of course I can't take you around the, the whole park, and I've got to get to the next place. But we've got some lovely brown capuchins in here. It sounds like Captain One just pooped. 
I think probably shouldn't touch that fluffy. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. Just because the park is free to get into doesn't mean it hasn't cost me time, equipment, internet, and more. So thank you very much for your tip. It's very important and helps me a lot, as well as I've traveled 400 kilometers to be here, as well as legwork. What cute little tails. So cute. Okay, I'm afraid you missed the beginning of the tour, dot, dot, dot. So you have to understand that this is about education and conservation before you get stressed about animals being behind cages. Sometimes the only way that we can keep these animals in the wild is to look after them and breed them in captivity and also teach budding young scientists about what it's like to see these animals and engage with them. So, please be careful with your words if you're not going to come to the beginning of the tour. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, it's so lovely for a free zoo. And we saw so many children come in earlier, so I'm really pleased at how this might excite them, right? How they get to know the animals. Really wonderful. What I feel sorry for is the humans that have put themselves in a bit of a trapped world, using up too many resources until the world heats to nothing. So we should be careful with our planet, conserve what's left of it. They're so sweet. How fun to watch them. Oh, really? Yeah, for some people. The one that was posing, I'll just go back to it. Let me check to see where I'm at. I got the list. I got the name of it. I'll just pop over and see again. But it's fantastic, wasn't it? I've never seen it. It was called an Eastern Black and White Colobus. But I've never seen such a thing. Oh, thank you, Tina. She's got it. Tina keeps notes and stuff as well. Okay. <laughs> it's such a poser. Look at that tail. It's actually got its hand in its bottom. So I don't know about that. <laughs> a whole different kind of promo happening there. You've seen them in real life. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Linda, as well, for your tip. That means a lot. And to my lovely sponsors in the room, thank you, lovely. Linda says, I know at our aquarium they do metal activities with sea lions and seals to keep them stimulated, which, ex which they explain during the shows. This guy, I think, has got to be my favorite right now. Super fun. So actually, in a couple of days, I'm going to take you to something called Art Aquarium. And I don't know what you guys are going to think of it. It is stunning. I really hope you come. But for me, I'm pretty scared of fish. And I'm, I'm scared of fish that are kind of, especially for me, they're already grotesque looking. So to see them kind of bulbous makes them feel a bit more scary for, for me. But I'm pretty sure that some people will say that they look they look grotesque because they're ornamental fish. However, they have exceptionally good lives. They're looked after very, very well. Um, and that's an important part of, of having the art aquarium. Now, I think I promised you blossoms as well. So there's a few different varieties of blossoms around in the, in the corner. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not during school hours. It will probably go on YouTube as long as everything's all good with the signal and the app and everything. So maybe that can help you as well. So my next tour is in an hour and I'll have to get to it. We've got five minutes left here. Thank you. Oh, did you, I think Tina and Linda were speaking at um, the same, uh, same time. Oh, Tina was talking about this one, I suppose. What do we say? Should we see what's up on the hill? And I'll also get you some close-ups of some blossoms. But wow, these cherry trees look incredible. Look at the trunks. Really unique trunks, I think. Yeah, Debbie, that's true. They're orna ornamental goldfish that I'll be taking people to see, but they're in this incredible art aquarium. Now, what creature is in here? Ducks and swans. 
<laughs> dark sense ones, but I can't see any. Looks like there's a bit of a film. Yeah, I want to see the guinea pigs. Let me let me see if they're accessible. Okay, if I keep going this way, I think I can see guinea pigs. Ducks are 15, 16, 17. Yeah, guinea pigs. I'm going to go up this way and we'll see if we can see the guinea pigs. Beverly loves guinea pig. Me too. And they're little. Oh, this says toilet. You know what? Toilet and guinea pigs? Let's see. Yeah. And kangaroos and deers. And ostriches and bears. Wow, there are so many things here. I can't believe it's free. Guinea pigs going to the toilet. They just do little tiny droppings, like hamsters. So if there's one thing I hope that you gain from these tours that I present today, is an idea of what you can come and do if you, um, if you came to Yokohama and a little look into different elements of Japanese culture as well. Oh, yeah, in BC there's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, cherry blossoms, right? Okay, it's a petting zoo. Shut the front door. Love touching guinea pigs. <laughs> so fun. Everyone's brushing the guinea pigs. Oh my gosh, cute. Oh my goodness, they've got guinea pigs in baskets. That is so cute. Guinea pig in a basket, give it a brush. Oh, so that's nice. They've got the guinea pig in their comfortable space, in a basket with a blanket underneath it, so that the kid isn't um, so that the kid isn't lifting up the guinea pig and upsetting its underside. Let's yeah. I'm gonna. I'll take you around in just a second. I just noticed that little penguin statue. The Humboldt penguin is found on islands in coastal Peru and Chile along the Humboldt cold current. They are flightless avians, however their long, flat, paddle-like flippers are superb for flying in the water. We have rapeseed and buddleia up there. Let's go! She did sound like Mario, that's right. Let me see. Wow, the guinea pigs are in a pile on top of each other. <laughs> so cute. I can't handle guinea pigs. I love them so much. Let me see what I can take you to. Oh, they're so cute. You know what I will say? It smells nice and clean everywhere. The Meiji Zoo doesn't smell clean. But this zoo does smell clean. I love their sounds too, aren't they so cute? Beverly, are you still there? I love that you could pick a guinea pig to brush. I actually quite like the smell of the straw that they're eating, their hay. <laughs> Little fluff piggies. So I call them crater heads because you see that one that's just been plopped down over there. It's got loads of signs of all of the other guinea pigs sleeping on top of it, which I think look like little craters. So I like to call them crater heads. Aren't they so cute? How lovely. Well, everybody, we have seconds left. We've got 20 seconds left of this tour. And there's tiny little mice. Oh my goodness. On this whole play area table. That is so cool. They've got this whole play zone and they're all hiding in the piano. Yeah, because don't forget, it's about learning, teaching, teaching children about these animals and adults. So yeah, it's a little play zone. So cute. 
Well, everybody, that's one hour of a tour. I know I, I knew I couldn't take you around the whole park in that time, but I hope you had a lovely time at this um, Nage, uh, Nogeyama Park. We've got wallabies just here as your goodbye. So thank you very much. Just the right size and super adorable. Here's some more. Cute. Thank you. And I hope you'll see me on the different tours. They're all totally different today. So, yeah, do, do join me. Thank you, lovely Poppy. Merci, bella vista. I think that's, that's my pronunciation. I hope that's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, we saw some new things today, which is cool. All right, lovelies. Catch you later. Thank you so much. Do check me out on linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James. I got two kilometers to go to get to my next tour, so I'll catch you later. That's all right, Leslie. If you go to sleep now, you can catch the nighttime tours and you'll be quite happy. So see what you can do about that. Thank you, everyone. Please leave reviews. If you have the mean reviews, please consider private messaging them to me so that I can cry about them privately. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching. Check out linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James to support me and see what else I make.